Just last weekend, we told you about the littering problem in Terre Haute. State Road 46 being one of the common problem areas that still creates a lot of concern. Among the trash, plastic bags are part of the discussion between residents and local legislators. News 10's Aaliyah Blackburn introduces us to an interesting character and how she's attracting attention to the issue. You may have seen these bags drifting along State Road 46, but this one is not hard to miss. I represent the 500 plastic bags one shopper gets in one year. Covered in 500 plastic bags, traveling from afar. It is not keep America beautiful. It is keep Indiana ugly with all these bags. It's crazy. I mean, who's going to pick all this up? Is a woman who calls herself the bag monster and she's not happy. I'm just so hopping mad that I had to come here and see what was going on in this state. She says it's because of House Bill 1053. It was approved in this year's General Assembly. The bill would not allow Indiana cities to tax or restrict the use of disposable plastic bags. I think the consensus was let's deal with it at the state level and not have 10 different laws throughout the state that would affect commerce. And I think that's something, again, that's going to be revisited. Senator John Ford is one of the sponsors on that bill. He says recycling efforts in the state house will take time, but for now, it's up to you to do your part. You can't legislate common sense. So hopefully people will not throw the stuff out into the street and they'll take the time to recycle it because we have plenty of places to do that here. It replaces six of these plastic bags. So you can have a way to carry your groceries. And the bag monster is already doing hers, encouraging others to wake up and take action. America, you have a bag habit. I'm just saying, look around you. Take the time to look around you. It is only getting worse, but you can make a difference. In Terre Haute, Aaliyah Blackburn, News 10. For a look at the littering laws in Indiana, visit our website, WTHITV.com.